plans this year? We're live. Cool. Oh, we're live right now? Okay. <laughs> uh, hold on just a second. Oh, Sorry. yes. <laughs> Good evening, Tampa Bay. This is the Rocket Man Show, care of uh, uh, Stingray Live Studios. Uh, we have our we have two special guests tonight. We have T Blue and uh, Matt and uh, Daryl and Daryl uh, from uh, from uh, uh, Spit Shine Guitars. That's all. Right. Uh, Spit Shine Guitars. That's I'm no sorry. big deal, man. No uh, big deal. Uh, they actually custom uh, do uh, guitar guitars here in the Tampa Bay area, which is a, a great thing. I mean, if you're uh, really into uh, having a guitar customized to you, you want you might want to call them and uh, they'll uh, get uh, right to you about it. Yeah, it's uh, www.spitshankguitars.com, and uh, the website's kind of in transition right now because we're kind of uh, getting ready to launch some new stuff for this year. But um, there's a little bit of info there, and you know, of course, our contact information, all that that type of thing. We got a mailing list. Sign up for that, and um, you know, kind of keep up with what we're doing. Ah, okay. So, what, what kind of good, uh, what kind of guitars do you make? Uh, uh we make vintage style guitars. Like uh, right now, primarily um, old uh, Fender style uh, Strats and Tellies, and um, uh, we're going to be introducing some new models this year. Um, a couple more vintage style ones, and then and actually an original model. Which is going to be a little bit more modern, you know, modern finish, mm -hmm. uh, modern electronics, uh, and maybe like humbucking pickups, that sort of thing. Stuff you wouldn't see on on vintage guitars. Wow. So, uh, do, do you use uh, any special materials? So yeah. Well, um, all the uh, all the uh, age stuff that we do, which is primarily what we do with the uh, F style stuff, is um, used. We use nitrocellulose lacquer, just like they did in the fifties uh, and sixties, which were old. Back then, they used to use car paint. Because uh, cars and guitars, it was a similar thing. So cars Car were painted. Paint? Yeah, cars were painted. No in, in, yeah, yeah. Cars, cars were painted in lacquer. Um, and then once they realized that they weren't holding up through the elements, you know, over the years, they switched over to. Um, do you know a little bit more about that? Yeah, uh, about the urethanes. Uh, yeah, I switched over to like. Uh, well, I think they went to acrylic lacquer, and then they went to That's urethanes. That's sort of like a plastic paint. Yeah, urethanes are gonna get you a nice. Uh, well, I mean, I don't really care for it, but a, a big hard shell. Even the newer stuff's probably going to be lacquer, um, but we might have some more modern uh, features like satin and uh, humbucking pickups, stuff that'll kind of appeal to. Because you know you got your vintage purists, and then you've got your people that like new stuff, and you uh -huh. kind of want to have something for everybody. We're even talking about doing a uh, metal guitar, um, and being that we are in, I guess, are we technically in the capital of uh, uh, the hard yep. rocking on the uh, Tampa, metal capital yeah. of the world? Yes. So that, yeah, that so. We're gonna eventually have something for you guys too, and um, you know Daryl's uh, a little bit passionate more into the metal scene than I am. I'm more of the, the vintage guy, and he's more of the modern guy. So um, it's kind of the blend of our tastes, you know, uh -huh. is what makes the the guitars. You know. Well, fortunately for you, we have T Blue to uh, exactly. actually uh, uh, demonstrate the, your guitars for us. Yeah, we got one that we just uh, guitars Yeah, we just wrapped this one up, uh, put the finishing touches on it today. Actually, it's already sold. It's going out to That's a customer. Case, huh? ah, okay. It's going out to a customer in Louisiana. We'll Can shout we out to this Vince. Louisiana. Yeah. Unveiling. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is the unveiling of the uh, uh, Spitzstein guitars. For uh, what the, for one of the things that they do. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Check it out. Yeah, so we do the aging on them. We age them to feel like old instruments. So, um, you know, wow. th this one would be heavy aging, you know, which is not everyone's cup of tea, but wow. this guy likes, uh, you know, uh, yeah, the heavy aging. This particular so. customer wants it. Yeah, he, he wants it to like feel like it's vintage look. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know, like. Uh, I'm sure um, if you you guys have been in the music scene for a while, right? Oh yeah. Um, you probably remember seeing that in the '80s a lot. You could get an old Strat, an old Telecaster, for you know a few hundred bucks. All right, this is the Rocket Man Show. If you have any comments or questions, give us a call at eight one three nine three eight zero seven nine six. Ah, I remember the number. <laughs> T Blue likes it. If T Blue likes it, everybody's gonna like it. Feels like an old 59, 57 uh, Italian. Yeah, it's pretty much dead on. Yeah, go for it. Unbelievable. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, we'll talk after the 
show, man. <laughs> T Blue. <laughs> case-by-case -case basis, but if you're looking for something, um, it could be more modern even. Um, we, we mainly do age stuff as of now, but the new stuff we're working on I think is really going to set us apart a little bit from some of the, our, our contemporaries. Yeah, I'm also working on a little uh, guitar pedal line. Uh, I call it, yeah, I call it Kind Effects, and um, I'm basically doing this stuff in my, uh, my office. Uh, slash chill room and uh, basically just um, you know doing I'm, I'm not uh, what's the word I'm looking for yeah I'm not really doing the wheel or anything I'm taking it's my like my take on you know classic circuits uh, you know fuzz face uh, tone bender that sort of thing but I spent months on the breadboard uh, tweaking the circuit and um, I'm pretty happy with it and there's a couple people I'm gonna be sending them to out in LA that um, are hopefully gonna dig the tones too and we'll see where it goes. say a few syllables and accent myself too here for the little lady thinks I'm out here trying to <clears throat> do something else but uh, anyway, well, that's, that's, my old lady used to do. <laughs> that's for another show for sure but uh, yeah like I said I'll be at uh, Gaspar's and Temple Terrace Gaspar's patio on 56 and Bush up there in that Temple Terrace area mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll be playing at uh, a place called Samurai's over there in, uh, in Clearwater on the beach and stuff. They do like, you know. Samurai's, so, huh? Yeah, it's like a raw fish kind of place. And ah, sushi. <laughs> you got sushi? Ah, yes. I don't care. I mean, you, samurai, that reminds me of uh, uh, a comical samurai on Saturday Night Live uh, with John Belushi. <laughs> like I said, the YouTube ain't as all of it's cracked up to be because. Uh, Unless you got a way to, you know, back tag your tags on that video, you won't get that many hits, you know, as far as uh, trying to go. I know a lot of the younger kids have asked me, hey, how, how, how come you got so many hits on your video? And I said, well, it's not just being good these days, but it's the way you tag your video on the, the back end on all this, you know, technical tech stuff that you get your hits from on, uh -huh. on the web, on the internet. Yeah. So it's a lot of work doing stuff these days, unless you're a real techie guy, uh, Man, it's it's hard for the old timers to get you know going and stuff. And I see a lot of old blues guys are really good, they're talented, but you know unless you're up with the modern tech stuff on the internet, you just ain't going nowhere. No. See, Zach, we got to get on and write a paperback. You might make money off a uh, wild man over here pretty soon. Yeah, so the writing man knows a lot of different things. Yeah. Put put a paperback together and sell it. Paperback <laughs> writer. So, well, Zach, I'm going to give it back to you and I'll head on down the road myself here. Ah, oh, well, okay. Well, it was nice uh, having you coming on the show. Yes, yeah, so it was nice playing those kids' uh, guitar there, that little telecaster. So I sweet. noticed that he said kids' guitar. <laughs> <laughs> they're they good, damn good. They're pretty, uh, they were pretty good, but then uh, they make guitars and they've been doing it for years.